Good morning, YouTube hikers. Tom and Julie here. We're at the Pine Creek Trailhead in the beautiful eastern Sierra Nevada, which are up here. Although I can't see them right there. There they are. It's October 18th, 2019. We're going through the Pine Creek Pack Station to get to our trail. We're headed up towards Pine Lake today. Uh, mostly hiking today, although this is mine country, so you never know, we may run across a mine. Uh, we'll just have to wait and see. But boy, what a beautiful area. Look at the mountains here. There they are. Okay. That uh, noise you hear is the Pine Creek flowing. It's got a pretty good flow up here. Uh, it's pretty crisp this morning. It's right at 32 degrees. A little after 9 o'clock. Boy. Nice tree already. Wow, what a trophy day. Not a cloud in the sky. No wind. This is a pretty big old tree and what a gnarly specimen that is. It's dead. Pretty wild. We're still motoring up the trail. We started at an elevation of 7320. I'm guessing we've already gone up a few hundred feet. Here's another little creek crossing. Beautiful little creek. Well, this is the view going the other way on the switchbacks here. This is back the canyon that we came from. Uh, this is looking down over the Owens Valley and then across the Owens Valley, the White Mountains. Don't know that you can see them very well. Weren't you guys just going the other way? Just, yeah, it was this morning. Oh, I thought I just saw you going that way a minute ago. Yeah, it's back. Oh, I see. Oh, I <laughs> Good morning. Are you guys out outfitting for somebody? Yeah, we're But I mean, do you have people out here yeah. somewhere? Oh, they are. The lichens in this rock is a cool shade of green, almost fluorescent. It's a huge wall too, you don't really get a scale of it until you see Julie. So we're still plugging away, we must have gone up, I don't know, 1200 feet or so, a mile and a half, two miles. There's a nice series of waterfalls here. Here we are deviating from the trail because we spotted a mine and I must say it looks rather intriguing looks like the lower working is foamed shut or the lower portal I should say but up higher there are a couple I don't know if you can get up there you might have to be a mountain goat but you probably can't get up there but they look cool from here don't they
Well, here's the portal, I'm guessing, to the brownstone mine. Got the dreaded foam on there. There's another hole above me here. It's kind of straight up, though. Tempting to try, but I don't know. Well, we came across an awesome looking bench for, looks like for four. <laughs> with... A custom built fireplace. Nice. And another chair over here. Yeah. Well, this is the easy chair. Here's the easy chair with the ottoman. <laughs> yeah, an easy chair <laughs> with the ottoman. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah. Somebody spent some time making that. Yeah. So trying to get up here to these things, they're proving to be a little difficult. So I don't think I'm going to be able to do it. Really looks interesting though up there. And then one up above it too. I don't know exactly what I'm looking at here. It smells like a hoist room because there's a lot of grease smell coming out of there. I hear some strange noises coming from in there. Don't you? Huh? Yes. Oh, here comes the wind. Colder than heck up here right now. My fingertips almost froze when I was climbing the side of that mountain. Like some major workings were going on here though, doesn't it? What a jumble that is. So if you see these big slabs hanging on the side of the hill, some of these have come down and completely crushed out this whatever it was here, these timbers. So that's a little unstable, to say the least. I'm up here at the top of a tram. It's pretty collapsed, but this is the rail, the tram rail you see right here. Here's a bucket, tram bucket. Here's another one. There's a different look at it. Here's the rest of the upper tram terminal this is the turnaround this is the operators station I'm assuming this is some kind of a a brake control or something here's a a control Looks like maybe a rheostat or a signaling device. That's a whole bank of some kind of something. I don't know what this is. This is. Oh, that's GE. Yeah, look at the big GE. So, this is all electrical stuff here. Looks like, uh, look at the huge motor up there. Let me see if I can get up there. I'm in a pretty solid room right here. This is all carved out of solid rock. 
Look at all this stuff in here. Jump up under this platform here. Oh. Look at the old cans. Looks like a huge carbide can. Here's the motor. Looks like two motors. And here's the big bull wheel. Let's see if I can reach around the corner. Get a shot of the bull wheel there. There's some water leaking into the back of this. Here's the other way. Here's this side. That's where the water's coming in. Gear down here. And a nice looking little valley. The waterfall coming out of it. Just about back to where we started. Well, here we are back to the Pine Creek Trailhead where we started this little adventure. We walked about four and a half, five and a half miles with a total of scent of about 1900 feet. It took us about four and a half hours and we did try and visit the Brownstone Mine. We saw the tram and all that stuff, but we couldn't get in the mine because they got it foamed off. Anyway, from Julie and myself, we thank you for watching and we appreciate it and I hope you will watch us again on another adventure.